Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Tuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution to question one with the Jan 2017 PUA paper two. If you want to see the other solutions for this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below. So be sure to check those out. And with that said, let's get into the question. Okay, so this is question one, as I said, and we have a partnership question. So on 1 March 2015, Chris and Vern, right, decided to form a partnership to make and deliver fresh salads. Mm, that's a good thing. To offices and households. Chris contributed 80,000 cash and a motor vehicle, which was valued at 20,000. Vern contributed 45,000 in cash and 25,000 in equipment. Prepare the journal entry to show the formation of the partnership of Chris and Vern. So it's, it's interesting that they said the journal entry because that implies one entry. But what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you some options. I'm going to show you where we record each partner's contribution separately. And then I'm going to show you how we could combine it into one entry, which could be called a compound entry. So let's focus on Chris first, right? So that's me, that's me, right? So Chris contributed 80,000 cash and a motor vehicle valued at 20,000. So with journal entries, you enter your debit entries first. So we are going to debit both cash and motor vehicle because they are both assets and they are increasing. And to record increases in assets, we have to debit the asset accounts. So we are going to see that here, right? On the 1st of March, right, cash, 80,000, motor vehicle, 20,000. And remember, that's what Chris is contributing. And anything an owner contributes or don't, not, not donates, right? anything the owner puts into the business is referred to as his or her capital. So capital, Chris, 100,000. Similarly, right, Vern is contributing 45,000 in cash and 25,000 in equipment. So both of those items are assets as well. So we're going to debit cash, debit equipment, and we're going to credit Vern's capital for 70,000, which is the sum of the two assets that Vern is putting into the business. Now, like I said, I think you should be able to get away with that because they give you quite a large space to use. Um, so what I'm going to show you as well, as I mentioned, as you can see, there's a big or there, right? Is I'm going to show you the single journal entry you could use. So what, what, what that's going to entail is it's going to entail all the debits to the assets first. So there's an 80,000 cash and a 45,000 cash. So there's a, like, you could put a single entry of 125, a, sing, a single debit entry to cash for 125, motor vehicle at 20, equipment at 25, and you can put Chris's capital at 100 and Vern's capital at 70. All right. And if you feel so inclined, you could put a narration because they did not say in the question that narratives were not required. If you're watching any of my other past paper playlists, in several of instances, the journal entry question said that the narratives weren't required. That was not stated here. So you need to put it in. Right. So I'm mindful I didn't put it up in the in the earlier one uh, the, uh, as any other option to this particular um, solution. But you can use this to kind of create what, the, what was supposed to be there. Okay, so the next thing they want is an appropriation account. Let me just rearrange my screen and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so this is part B where they want the appropriation account. So prepare the profit and loss appropriation account for the end of the first year for Chris and Vern. Okay, cool. So if we take a read here, let's just take a look, right? What does it say? In their first year of operation, Chris and Vern made a net profit of 40,100. The partnership agreement showed that Chris and Vern plan to take salaries of 12,000 each. Pay interest on capital at a rate of 10% and charge drawings at a rate of 5%. During the year, Chris withdrew 24,000 in cash. Wow, so Chris took a lot of drawings. The remainder of profits or losses was to be shared in the ratio 2 to 1 between Chris and Vern respectively. Okay, so that's relatively straightforward. So let's head up. So we have Chris and Vern partnership, profit and loss appropriation account for the year ended February 29th, 2016. Because they started 1st of March 2015 and one year later would be the day before March 1st, 20, 2016, which is February 29th, 2016. All right, so dollar sign. Okay, so we're going to start with the profit. What was the profit? Net profit is 40,100. So we're going to put that in. We're going to add interest on drawings. Now, the only person to take drawings was Chris, who took 24,000 in cash. And the interest on drawings rate, as you can see here, is 5%. All right, so we're going to take 5% of 24,000, which I think is 1,200. We're going to add it to the 40,100 to give us 41,003. So now we're ready to continue with the appropriation account. Okay, cool. 
So let's go with interest on capital. So the rate of interest on capital, as you can see here, is 10%. So we're going to find 10% of the values we used above. We found above using the general journal. All right. So we have 100,000 for Chris by 10% is 10,000. And then we have 70,000 by 10% for Vern, which is 7,000, giving us 17,000 for interest on capital. And then Chris and Vern both plan to take salaries of 12,000 each as right here. Okay, cool. So salary 12,000 12,000 going 24,000 24 and 17 is 41 41 from 41 three doesn't leave us with much profit after appropriation so when we share the residual profit in the ratio of two to one two thirds to chris and one third to vert so two thirds of 300 is 200 and one third of 300 is 100 total them back to 300 so all the profit is shared between the partners okay so let's take a look at the last part of the question which is current accounts Okay, so here we are with the, with the current account for Chris. Now, because the partnership just started, there will be no opening balance. So on the credit side, you're going to see Chris's earnings, interest on capital, salary, and share of profit. On the debit side, you're going to see drawings and interest on drawings. So the interest on capital was 10,000, salary was 12, share of profit was 200. Now on the debit side, we're going to put the drawings and the interest on drawings. Now, something interesting happens here we end up with more value on the debit side than on the credit side, which means the partner withdrew more than he earned, which means the, this current account is going to be in deficit. The balance is going to be brought down on the debit side. A lot of times I've seen them ask that, what is the significance of the balance on this partner's current account? When it is a debit balance, that means the partner is in deficit. If it was a credit balance, the partner would be in surplus, right? A deficit means the partner withdrew more than the partner earned. So your drawings and your interest on drawings kind of were more than all of your earnings, okay? Okay, let me just shift down so we can take a look at Vern's current account now. All right, so for Vern, we also have the same earnings. We had interest on capital, but a different figure. Salary was the same, and Vern only got $100 worth of share profit. Vern had no drawings, and hence no interest on drawings. So what would happen here is that the balance in Vern's account would be carried down from the credit side, sorry, the debit side, and be brought back on the credit side. Okay, guys, that's it for this question. If you need to see my partnerships playlist, I'm going to put some cards up here. Be sure to check those videos out. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you know every time I release a new video. And don't forget to check out my website for free POA handouts. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye.